Adobe FrameMaker Feature Spotlight. Deliver reference PDFs within a PDF. Sophisticated projects often refer to external sources of information. But how can you best provide that external content to your audience? There are times where you won't know the final location, or even the final file name, of a file to be placed on your server or on your website. That makes it difficult to link to the right reference content in that final location. And even if you did get the files to connect properly, you probably wouldn't want to spend the time it takes to create and manage those links over time. In the latest version of FrameMaker, we've created a better way to deliver these packaged sets of content with a better option, actually two similar options, for wrapping resource PDFs and other content into a single PDF package deliverable. This is different from an earlier experience, which required that you post-process your PDF in Acrobat to attach those extra files. Here's how it works. I'll use this FrameMaker document as the parent which will deliver a needed PDF reference file. While I can attach this file anywhere in the text flow, for simplicity, I'll place it at the end. I'll choose Insert, Attach File in PDF, to bring up the Select File dialog. I'll identify the target file, and choose Select. You may have noticed there was also an Embed File in PDF option in the Insert menu. Embed File in PDF is similar, but only enables the insertion of PDF files, not other files like FrameMaker documents, spreadsheets, or graphics. For those familiar with PDF standards, the Embed option allows you to create a PDF A2 compatible file, while Attach File in PDF is broader and intended for conversion to PDF A3. When converting to PDF, choose an appropriate job option. Remember, if you're delivering only PDF attachments, you can choose to deliver A2. But, as mentioned previously, for attached files other than PDF, you'll want to select the A3 option to ensure success. I'll choose the broader PDF A3 option. If you'd like to install PDF A2 and PDF A3 specific job options, along with other useful standards, you can navigate to the FrameMaker folder in your app data directory, copy any relevant job options you want, and then paste them into the folder where the custom job options are stored. I've got everything installed that I need for right now, but here's the location in case you want to find it on your own machine. And here's a handy tip. To get to the roaming directory on your own machine, type in percent app data percent as shown, and you'll be taken directly into your roaming directory, where you can go into the Adobe directory, and then either to FrameMaker or to Adobe PDF settings for your job options. Back in FrameMaker, I'll produce the PDF. And even when viewing the PDF in a browser, I can navigate to page four, click on the attachment icon, and open up my attached file. If I'd open the PDF into Acrobat or into Adobe Reader, the attachments pane would show me any files that had been either attached or embedded. Over time, attach and embed will save you a great deal of time and error versus repetitively modifying PDFs in Acrobat. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us at techcom at adobe.com.